now we can begin writing the code that's going to actually take these variables and do something with them. So we're going to say if dollar sign em equals equals em2 because double equals means check for equality single equals would mean assigning them saying that is equal to that so we want double equals we're going to check if they're the same then we're going to do this code because we want the emails to be the same if they're not the same else for now we're just going to echo emails don't match we're going to do something more with that soon but for the, for now that's all we have now if i just test this type some values in there type some values in there type emails in there password password okay we should be good but if the emails don't match so i take a letter out and now they do not match when i register we should get that message we typed in emails don't match just to show you it works if they do match their emails are the same haven't anything with password yet so they don't have to be the same click register and there's no message meaning that that part was executed so here we're going to say check if email is in valid format because if you remember down here where we said type is equal to text type is equal to email or password that modifies what values these forms are going to accept for example type of password doesn't let you see the letters okay type of email which are these ones are if we try and submit this now it knows it's not an email format so it won't let you progress if we put an at dot com and in here we put the at sign in dot com it will let us through although well, the emails don't match but you understand however with that check it seems to let through if I just show you it seems to let through this Notice how we didn't even put a .com or .co.uk or anything like that after the email, which all emails have, but it still lets through because it had the at sign followed by some text. So we're now going to check that manually ourselves in here that the email is in a valid format. Give some space. We're going to say if filter var, and inside those brackets we're going to put em, which is our email variable, and inside here in all caps we're going to put filter underscore validate underscore email filter validate email okay this is going to check that it's in a correct email format before we continue so we can now say else oh I'm still in all cups else curly brackets and for now we can just say echo invalid format and semicolon if it did get through we can then copy and paste the code inside this if statement. I'm going to use it for em equals and then paste that code we just copied. This is saying if it is through em equals the validated version of the email. Okay. If that doesn't make too much sense to you right now, just go with it. You'll probably understand it soon.